Let us now look at the rules to be followed while writing variable names. The first rule is variable names must always start with either letters or underscores. Should start with either letters or underscores. Okay. And it should not it should not start with numbers so it should always start with either letters or underscores and it should not start with numbers so is an example or, or a valid example uh, I'll write underscore name equal to Sam so this is valid since it can start with either letter or underscore let's take another example where I'll write simply all the characters so this is also valid let me try to show another example where I have underscore somewhere in between the variable name so this is also valid so let me try to show one more example where I'll start with numbers and I'll write name equal to Sam. So this is not valid as the variable names should not start with numbers. We will get a syntax error for this. So it should not start with numbers. even though it cannot start with numbers variable names can have numbers in it so here is an example so I'll simply write name one two three four equal to John so this got executed without any errors so you can have numbers but it should not start with numbers so let me try to show another example where I have numbers in between the letters so this is also valid and it got executed without any errors and the second rule is the variable names should contain only alphanumeric characters and underscores so the second rule is it should uh, contains only should contain only alpha numeric characters and underscores so which includes all the letters from a to z and all the letters from capital A to Z and small small case A to Z and the numbers from 0 to 9 and also it can include underscores which also means that it cannot contain any special characters so what I'm trying to say is if you try to write something like name question mark uh, SA or something like that and try to assign a value it will throw a invalid syntax or syntax error one more example where if you try to write name curly braces ASD something like that and try to assign some numbers here also you'll get syntax error so third rule is one thing to remember is that variable names are case sensitive so variable names are case sensitive for example let me declare a variable number one equal to one okay and I'll simply print number one so 
so there you have it so i declare one variable number one so i'll declare another variable number one with just capital casing in the starting and in the second letter so the all the letters are same except the fact that the first letter and the you know n and o are capital letters and i'll say print so so both of them are even though they have they have similar or the same characters in the same sequence both of them are treated as different variables in python so if we try to print uh, smaller case number one and print long i mean the pascal case number one you'll get different values because they are different variables so another important rule in uh, writing the variable names is that never ever use reserved keywords as variable names so never ever use reserved keywords as variable names let us take a look at some of the reserved keywords in python so let me try to import a module called keyword and i will simply print keyword dot kw list so here are some of the reserved i mean the reserved keywords in python but this is not a complete list actually let us see other keywords by importing another module called built-ins so i will import built-ins okay and then i will say print dir of built-ins i'm using dir since built-ins is actually an object and dir will return a list of valid values inside the object so let me try to show now what exactly built-ins is so if i simply try to say print built-ins it's basically an object right so i don't want to display an object i want to display all the values inside that object so i have to use dir and give the object name so this these are also keywords which you should be avoid using as variable names but if you are asking the question does python throw any error if we try to use reserved keywords as variable names the answer is no it does not let me show you an example so here zip is a reserved keyword and let me try to use it as a variable name so i'll write zip equal to i'll say hello and also try to print the value inside zip so it got accepted without any errors you are still able to use a reserved keyword as as a variable name so it did not throw any error then why should we avoid using reserved keywords as variable names let me try to demonstrate one scenario where using reserved keywords as variable names may cause some problems so there is a built in function called max if you can observe it's in here so max basically tries to find the maximum element inside a given data structure so let's assume we have a list my list equal to uh, i'll have values 1 2 3 5 4 something like that and if i just type max of my list 
it is going to return a value which is you know the maximum element inside the my list so if i execute this you see an output which is equal to 5 okay now if we use max keyword as variable name to save some value for example i'll write max equal to uh, i'll i'll give a string value and say hello world and also try to print max so you see now we have used the result keyword as a variable name without any issues or without any errors now let's try to find the maximum element in the list using the max function again and see what happens so i'll write again max of my list and execute we are getting an error which is not so meaningful so what I'm trying to say is let's assume you have written some 10,000 lines of code and somewhere in the middle you have used the max keyword as variable name and forgot about it and then later when you want to use max function you get this error which is not so meaningful and you will have difficult time just to understand why you got this error and, and how to fix this so better completely avoid using reserved keywords as variable names even though python does not restrict you from using them as variable names